Hi everyone, um, I just thought I'd do this video to help you along with the managing database um, using SQL unit on my city. Um, working under week two slash three booklet one, uh, we come down here and there's a week two task where you're working with a database called um, the company database. And you're going to have to write the SQL statements, but this actual database has three tables in it, uh, which is a bit more than what you've been working with so far. Okay, and I'm just going to go on creating that using SQL and then explain the structure of it and how the data actually relates to one another in the actual database, okay? Um, so that's what I want to focus on. So this is a task here. So it says create a database, name it company. These are my three tables. I've got departments, with the two columns in it, department ID, primary key, and the department name, obviously self-explanatory, and the employees table, with the employee IDs, the primary key, and these other columns which make up the data which will describe each of the employees in the database table. And we've also got the managers table. And we've got three columns. Manager ID is the primary key, and obviously the first and last name of the managers. Notice here we've got the department ID and the manager ID. Okay, and these relate to the tables um, for example, department ID relates to the manager, uh, sorry, the department, <laughs> and the manager ID relates to what manager, who manages the employee. Okay, but we'll cover that later on once we actually create the database and populate it with some data. Okay, so the first thing is we're going to create a database in these tables. Okay, so I'm just going to do that just now. I've already got my PHP, my admin opened up. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go into the SQL pane just here, all right. And I'm going to create the, the database company. Okay, I'm going to click go. And that will create my, I've got a database as you can see it's created a company database. There's nothing in it yet, no tables yet. I'm going to create my three tables next. Okay, that's these three here. Okay, so I'll just create, they're going to make sure company selected. Go into the SQL pane and then I'm going to create departments table, okay, using the create command. And then inside the parentheses, there's the two columns it's made up of, just like it's explained in here, okay. And as we've done in class, I'll click go. And it's created the, the table, all right. And I'm going to go into the SQL pane again. I'm going to create the employees table. That's all this here. Again, I've got a notepad file here and I'm just copying and pasting the, the SQL statements in. It's, it's just going to tidy this up here. Just to make it a bit quicker than sitting watching me typing up SQL statements. Um, so just start it a bit faster for you when you're watching it. Okay. Um, so again, create command. Name of the table's employees, then we've got these parentheses here, okay, which describes the, the table itself and the columns it's going to be um, used inside the table, okay, or the structure of the table. Okay, um, so I've created these two. The final one is the manager's table. So I'm going to go into the um, notepad file, I'll copy the SQL statement, and make sure I'm inside this company breadcrumb up here, I'm inside the correct database. Again, exact same again, except inside here, we've changed the name of the table, and then the name of our and attributes for our actual column names as well. So I'll just click go. And again, green tick, it's saying it's done it. Okay, so let's get back in here, and there's our three database tables. And um, if you want to see the structure of them, just click on it, then go to structure and I'll show you the column names, what's the primary key, data types and so forth. You can do that for each one of them. Structure again, they're all there, primary key, data types, whether it accepts null values or not. Okay. And the last one is the managers. Again, structure. And you can see in here the primary key data types and so forth. The other good thing to do is see this pane at the side here, if you can open it up. I've got it opened here. If you open up all the um, the tables up, this is good practice to do when you're working with SQL because you can actually see what the column names are. 
um, I've got it all up up here in the tree light structure. So when you're writing SQL on the in the SQL pane, you can actually see what the column names, table names, and so forth are. Okay. Right. Okay. So now we've done that, we want to do some inserts in. So I'm going back to the, the company database to add the data to each one of these tables. Go into the SQL pane. And I'm going to add some data into the the department table. In the handout, actually, the PDFs come up a bit here, but there's a wee bit of an error, but it's just um, numbers one through six, okay, for department IDs. Don't worry too much about that. Okay, so I'll just, um, again, grab my SQL statement for speed, and I'll put it in there. So we're inserting into the departments table under column department ID and department name. We're going to add these values. So each one of these is going to actually add in a row into the table, okay, because there's a comma at the end. And at the very end, the last row we're going to add, you put a semicolon in, okay? So I'm just going to click go. And it's added six rows. Go back into departments, so I'll do a quick select all. And you can see they've been added in here. I'm going to go back up to the company database breadcrumb. And then I'm going to add in the managers now. That's in line with the, the handout here. So I'm going to go into the SQL pane, I'll do an insert. Again, it's been a bit bigger. Um, insert into the managers table under the, under the manager ID, first name and last name columns. These values will be a row for each one. Okay. Um, I do apologize about the names, as you can probably hazard a guess that I'm a bit of a boxing fan and I was running out of names to add in for this tutorial, but um, there we go. So that's um, they're going to be added in here. So I'll click go. And it's added six rows again. So let's just go back in and see the managers table again. And we can see it here. Okay, they've all been added in. Go back to the root of the company database, click the SQL pane. And I'm going to now going to now add in the, the employees into the employees table. Okay, there's four of them. The exact same process before. These are the columns and these are the rows that are going to add below each one of these columns. So I'll click go. And it's added four rows. Let's just double check it. Do a select all. And there they are. Okay, so that's me created my database table. Uh, sorry, database, added three tables, or created three tables, and added the data to each one of those tables, okay? The next thing I'm going to do, okay, is explain the relationship between these tables, okay? Now, I've, I've created this handout here. It's a last question solution. It relates to the examples exercise task you to do but it helps explain the relationship between the data and each one of these tables, okay, and how it actually works. Um, so in here, there's a, a good link actually to explain, help explain the primary foreign key relationships, okay, on W3 schools, that'll help out as well. But I've done some diagrams here just to explain it. Um, as you can see, the three tables, the employees table, we've got the primary key employee ID. We've got the primary key department ID in the department's table. And we've got the primary key manager ID and the manager's table. Now, notice in the employees table, we have a foreign key manager ID, which relates to the primary key and manager ID in the manager's table. And the foreign key department ID, which relates to the primary key department ID and the department's table. So I've done these arrows to kind of relate to that. Okay. That's how this data relates to each other. So let's give it a an example, okay, of the data that we've, we've actually got in the database. So the employees table, I'm gonna use Darren McNulty as my sample data to try and explain this a bit better. So Darren McNulty and the employees table is employee ID number one, that's the primary key. Now, say we want to find out Darren McNulty's job title as a cleaner, okay? We want to find out what department Darren works in. Okay, so you see here we have the foreign key department ID and we've got number six in there. So if we go to the departments table and we look up 
primary key number six, it's maintenance. Okay, so that's how we can know that the part um, Darren works in the maintenance department. Okay, if we wanted to find out what who's sorry who's who's Darren who who's manager um, who's who's Darren's manager was sorry my tongue tied there. Um, we would just take the manager ID as a foreign key and we'd relate it to the primary key manager ID in the manager's table. So we can see there that his manager is Ray Leonard. Okay. And we do this by using the primary foreign key relationship so that this data relates to each one of the tables. Okay. I hope that helps. And that's the end of this tutorial. Okay. Bye.